who lives in a house like this? Oh, well, that's a bit of a giveaway. Hi, Chris. Good to see you. Hello, David. Thank you for having us. Saturday morning, David. Typical match day nerves? I promise you, it's, uh, it's no different. Every, every Saturday or every game, uh, every match day, I'm, I'm nervous. It's just over two years since you took charge. How do you assess these two years? Very, very disappointing to get relegated. It's, in football terms, you know, there isn't anything worse that can happen to you. That's behind us now. Now, what is our next challenge? And our next challenge is to get this great football club back into the Premier League. Every trip to a home match is also a trip to the place that used to be home. So David, this is it, the house you grew up in, just up there. Yeah, that's, that was my bedroom. How does it feel now to, to own the club that you could see from your window? I can still see it from here. <laughs> you can see it now. My memories of, as a young boy living here was really of abject poverty and, uh, and you know, clawing your way out of, out of that and, and then coming back. It's, it's a dream come true. I am probably the last person that wants to leave Upton Park. I mean, this is my home, this is my memories, this is my life. And, um, but equally, I understand that if, if things are to change for the better, we probably have to grasp this nettle. The Olympic Stadium ambition, though, is not one shared by all. I think if West Ham move, the fans will feel alienated. You're too far away from the players. And there's, the atmosphere won't be there, but we've got it here. But the fans are so close to the pitch here. Like, that's a big fear at the Olympic Stadium, behind a running track. There is no way that we can go to the Olympic Stadium unless our seats are in a similar distance than they are now. What is that? That's... Uh, um, 20 yards, I guess? 20 yards. We can't be more than that. Everyone pitch side on this occasion was hoping for three points against Nottingham Forest. The struggling visitors started brightly. Oh, lucky they can't hit the target. Oh. Before a controversial decision went West Ham's way. Mark Noble is a fantastic penalty taker. Looking for his fifth goal of the season. Strikes it hard beyond the camp. He celebrates in front of the Bobby Moore. And West Ham United have the lead. In the second half, another spot of fortune for the Hammers. A chance for Noble to convert his sixth penalty of the season. 2-0 thanks to two penalties from Mark Noble. Forrest took the gloss off proceedings deep into injury time. Shot from the edge of the box and McGugan's done it. And West Ham don't keep a clean sheet. It's 2-1 to the Hammers. A third straight league win, but it wasn't pretty. We are nervous. This is a nervous time for us. Um, you know, we're not 10 points clear. Um, and fans get nervous, the fans get apprehensive apprehensive and it, uh, it does spill over onto the pitch. We do need a, uh, to have a little run of, of dominant football and I think that with that will come a bit more style. As the wins keep coming though, there's every confidence the Hammers promotion hopes won't fade and die.